Hi guys, welcome back. This is Ritnika and you've reached MGMH Indie 101 sessions. So today's video, we're going to talk about press kits, okay? First of all, what is a press kit? A press kit is something that it has certain elements for an artist that can be given to venues, can be given to festivals, can even be sent to the press. So they have all the elements that they would need in order to make a, you know, take out a press release or book you for a show. Now, most artists tend not to have a press kit, all right? And this is the biggest problem. I work with so many artists who have been playing for years and years, and they still will give me really shitty WhatsApp videos, or they'll give me bad, blurry pictures, or they won't have a band picture. And that really, you know, hampers your growth and prevents us from booking you for the future. So here are some tips on how to make a press kit. This applies to anyone any part of the world so do t you know do take this um, advice first of all you gotta have a bio all right a bio needs to be a third person summary of you not a first person I get a lot of like hi I am a blah 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 no you should be like Ritnika is this 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 is what she does this is how she plays so talk about your background talk about your inspiration talk about your style of music talk about the kind of music you want to play your um the big events in your life things that you've done like they played at this festival they won this award it doesn't have to be very long it can just be a paragraph but it needs to be a third person account of you so if somebody had to describe you and your music that's what it is because most people just copy paste for events and PR and things like that. Then you need to have high res pictures. Now, what is high res pictures? Above one to two MB at least. All right. If you are a band, you need to have band pictures as well as individual people pictures. Because sometimes they might want to, you know, uh, put focus on just one member and talk about that one member. So you will need pictures of you individually. But mostly you need band pictures and not just one. You need multiple. Because you're not going to keep hiring a photographer, or keep taking pictures, and you're not going to use the same pictures over and over again. You need to sort of have variety, you know? So if you're a dark, grungy band, you like the little rock, heavy rock vibe, and you want it to be dark, well, that's great. But you got to have some lighter options as well, because the dark images may not look very good when you're giving it to the press. You know, so have a different, have a couple of different var varieties ready for you so that, you know, you can send that across. What else? You need to have a tech rider. Now, a tech rider, can you hear the train? I apologize for that. The tech rider is basically your technical requirements, all right? Um, you need to write down exactly what you need, for, what you will be carrying, what you need from the sound engineer. And if you can, you can even make a diagram of your stage plot, right? Basically, where you'll be standing, where you want the monitors, where you want the DIs, where you want the amps. All of that because what happens is first of all when you're writing to music festivals and venues and things like that they need your tech writer because they would need to talk to a sound engineer or sound vendor to find out how much the whole thing is gonna cost secondly if you send it across then the sound engineer can have everything ready as per your specific specification of course, put a phone number there because you may not always get what you want. So do give options and the artist and that way the artist can discuss it with the sound engineer and, you know, get all the details. But it's very important to have that. It's also important for you to have a hospitality rider. Now, let's be honest, if you're just starting out, you're probably not going to get everything you want, okay? But it does help to have it listed down. Say you should talk about, okay, you, if you are traveling within India, within the country, do you want a train, do you want a plane, do you want how many hotel rooms, three stars, okay, or do you have to have five star? Don't be greedy. If you are just starting out, you're not going to get the best, right? So be reasonable. You will need local transportation, so put that down. I'll need one in over, two cars, three cars, whatever. You will need dinner. You will need lunch. You know, if you're going to be there all day, you will need F&B, alcohol. Specify what drinks you drink. Now, again, most venues will probably just give you a voucher for one drink, two drinks, that's it. Probably domestic. But it helps to write down, okay, I like Absolute. Just in case you play at a music festival where they're looking at your rider and they will make sure to have vodka for you if you are a vodka drinker and not give you gin, you know? So it just helps to make it, put it there and make it a little bit professional. Doesn't mean you're going to get everything, but again, it makes you look professional. 
what else should be on a press kit well you can put certain press quotes you don't have to put articles per se because nobody really reads them but underneath your bio maybe for making a pdf document you can put a couple of lines like one or two lines rolling stone said that blah 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 you know just about you certain good quotes that press have spoken about you so that people sort of you know can that kind of draws them towards you what else you need to have your links in place all right don't send people videos as attachments that's the worst thing you can do make a youtube channel upload your videos make a soundcloud play page upload your songs there and send them links so if you're sending them a press kit as a bio you usually need to have your band name up maybe a picture embedded in it just to make it look nice um, put a bio put some press quotes put some links put your contact details yours or your managers very clearly and save it as a PDF that's the sheet you're gonna send to people along with that you can have your pictures you can have um, your tech writer etc now you can send them all individually or you can upload them on Dropbox or a Google Drive and make a little folder which has your pictures your tech your everything listed even if you have your own logos, you know, if say you have a band and you have your own logo, have the high res, you know, PNG file, etc., ready. And you can send that link to people when they ask you for all your details. That just makes you look professional. And at the end of the day, you will get everything. Now, quick question on what kind of music you should send to people if you're just pitching to them. You should send them a playlist that you've made of your songs. You don't have to send every single one. You can maybe send five songs, which is a broad um, overview of the kind of stuff you do. Say you're a cover band and you do Hindi, you do English, you do fast, you do slow, you do old school, you do newer songs. You should have one one of each or you should make yourself a little show reel. I know it's annoying, but the show reel will have like little snippets of different styles of music that you do blended in nicely so that the person who's booking you can just watch that video, watch that playlist, and then you're like, okay, they can do everything. Okay, I can pitch them here, or I can pitch them there, or this works for a wedding, but it also works for a rock show or whatever. That's the best way. So you should make sure that whatever you send for pitching purposes for shows has a broad overview of everything you do. If you do acoustic stuff, make sure you include that as well because Nowadays, not every venue can afford a full sound system. So they may not even know you can do acoustic. They may not know you can do a duo set or that you can also do a Hindi set, things like that. So just, you know, give them an overview of what all you can do. Basically, your press kit needs to be the best possible thing you can send to someone so that you can get a job, you can get gigs, you can get considered. So you want to make sure you give them everything. It should be the best version of you. Don't give shitty videos. Don't give crappy videos. If you don't have good videos, record them. You don't, I'm recording this on my laptop. I can hear the train at the back, but I know you guys can hear me and I'm getting the information across. You don't need to have a lot of high tech stuff. You can just do basic and put it up as long as it's clean and good and that's all that matters. All right guys, take care, bye.